What's up, guys? It's your girl, Queen Nikki. Uh, from Traveling Young, I have my friend Dominique here. She's interested in going on a cruise, and she has a couple questions for me. But today's topic is about cell phone usage and Wi-Fi plans while on um, a carnival cruise. Well, thank you, Miss Queen Nikki, for having me on your video blog. I watch them all the time, and it's fun and entertaining. So, my first question for you today is, what type of Wi-Fi do they have, and um, is it available for iPhone and Android users? Yes, um, Carnival or any cruise line has um, Wi-Fi for both Android and iPhone users. Um, they also have a site. It's, a, it's actually a free app. It's called CruiseLine.com, and the app is called Shipmate. Also, um, it's the number one used app um, worldwide, and you can use it um, for direct messaging, roll call, excursion booking, photos, day plans. Like you could just use it for like a, a ton of things. If you want to use that, that's a good thing to look into. You start using it once you get on the ship. So with the app, are it's you guaranteed like, calls to anywhere, like where you at? Because, you know, like when you're on a cruise, like, you know, the signal and the connection may be bad depending on where you're texting or calling to. So does that guarantee like a better connection versus just like the regular no, Wi-Fi? It's not going to be a better connection. Um, it's another money thing. You can use your cell phone, but it, it'll it'll charge you uh, $20 per mega, megabyte. So you might want to limit your calls and your texts. Um, I would suggest that you use it like once you get to to the ports. And then there are certain ports that you can use it. St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John, and Puerto Rico. You can use it, but it'll still, like the Virgin Islands, basically. You can use it. The U.S. Virgin Islands. Okay, Queen Nikki. Um, okay, so I do have a, like a little tip that you can use that I found out. Um, if you have AT&T, they have an international day plan. The international day plan, it allows you to call, text, and use your data in over 100 countries, and you pay for only the days that you use it. So say if you were there um, five days, you would pay for the five days that you, you know, that you use it. So I thought that was kind of a good tip to, to know. Um, also, it's $10 on top of your normal bill. So if your bill is like $100, it's going to add on $10 to your normal $100. So I thought that was a good tip. So the, that's only going to be $10. Remember like earlier you mentioned the $20? Yeah, but the, this one is just for the um, international day plan for the AT&T users. The other one is for like any other, um, other providers. Any other carrier. Yeah. Like, T-Mobile and right, yeah. Uh, okay, got gotcha. T-Mobile, Sprint, Boost, uh, Metro. The the twenty dollars is for them. The ten dollars um, on top of your bill that's just for AT and T users only. They're the only um, carrier that has an international day plan. So Carnival has like three different plans. Um, their one plan is called a social plan, and that's four dollars a day. And you can only use Facebook and Twitter with that plan. The second plan is a value plan, and that's $10 a day, and you can send emails. You can use Facebook and Twitter. And then the third plan, the premium plan, is $14 a day. And this is kind of like for <clears throat> like the college students, like if you need to turn in your paper a certain at a certain time, it's $14 a day, and you'll be able to um, submit your papers in on time, do your schoolwork, and all of that. Um, do whatever else you need to do, but that's... $14 a day. So, that's pretty pricey, Queen Nikki. So, yeah. would you recommend paying the, um, like the $20 just so you'll be able to call and text so you won't have to pay an additional, like, 10 or $14 for like the Twitter and the, and the social media? Like, what would, what would you, or what prefer? do you usually do? Do you only pay Me? for social media or you only pay for like the call and text or do you do both? Well, me personally, I don't use any of it. Um, once I get on board, I put my phone on airplane mode and like put it somewhere. Um, I only use my phone for pictures and videos, but I know that I can't upload my videos until after, until um, we go back to wherever we port from. So I don't use it at all. But like I said, if you if you're a, a school student or 
you know, you're like a, a business owner or, you know, you have important things that you need to use your phone for, then, yeah, I would say go ahead and, you know, pay for it. But like I said, me personally, I don't use it. Um, once I get on board, everything is getting shut down, shut off, and put to the side. That's the, that's the only time that I won't use my phone ever in life. Because me personally, it's like you're already paying for the cruise. So, you I know, don't, I'm not about like to for, pay yeah, for Wi Fi. Like you're not there to be on social media the whole time. You're there right. to enjoy the cruise. But I feel like this is good for people who are going on cruises to know mm -hmm. in case they do, you know, want to still like talk on the phone or right. text a lot while they're on the trip. They can know, like, how to budget that mm -hmm. in their plan yep and they'll know like the like with the app that's a good deal that'll cut like half of the cost and then with um and then for AT&T users that's really a good deal that'll yep. also help them to be able to like budget a lot yeah for iPhone users you can use the the value plan for uh ten dollars a day and you can iMessage other um iPhone users you can just other iPhone users, you can't text like Android users or anything. Well, that's all the questions I have for today, Queen Nikki. Um, I'm pretty sure you informed us on a lot of information, me and also the other viewers that are looking forward to or plan on going to a cruise. So, thank you again for having me on as your guest on your <laughs> um, YouTube blog, and hopefully, I'll be able to do this again. I'm glad I could help you with all of your questions. I hope you enjoy your upcoming cruise. Thank you. Um, that's all we have for today. Uh, click that bell and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it down in the comment box. And either me or DJ Down will be happy to answer your questions. Um, that's all I have for me today. in videos behind the scenes they can't wait to get back on them phones <laughs> i was just in my video like i don't use my phone i like put it to the side yeah. <laughs> clearly she don't do that <laughs> <laughs>